turabashuje mwese bakunzi b'ikiganiro ubuzima buzima nkuko mubimenyereye mu kiganiro ubuzima buzima tuba turi kumwe n'inzobere nyinshi zitandukanye mu by'ubuzima kuri uyu munsi turi kuri kubitaro byitwa Faros Medical Clinic ushobora kumva Faros Medical Clinic ukagira ngwa biri mu misiri cyangwa mu kindi gihugu biherere hano mu gihugu cyacu cy'u Rwanda Sonatibe akaba ari bitaro bivura indwara zitandukanye kuri uyu munsi tukaba twagiye gukorana ikiganiro ku ndwara ya angine na Dr Ibrahim akaba ari umuspecialiste mu ndwara zo mu ndimbere z'abakuzi bakunzi b'ikiganiro ubuzima buzima se twabura kubashishikariza gahunda yo gukomeza kwirinda icyorezo cya coronavirus kugira ngo turusheho kugira ubuzima buzima si twabura gutangira kino kiganiro dusuhuza abakunzi b'ikiganiro ubuzima buzima baherere imande nye z'igihugu ndetse no mu mujyi wa Kigali byumwe hariko tukanasuhuza nabaherere mu bihugu bidukikije u Burundi Tanzania ndetse na Uganda akaba harimo abakunzi b'ikiganiro ubuzima buzima benshi batandukanye nkuko tubibona tukabibutsa no gukurikira ibiganiro byaba byaratambutse byarabacitse mukabisanga kuri YouTube channel ubuzima buzima mukibuka kubisangiza abandi ndetse mugakora na subscribe reka dusuhuze nabari irwota masimbi muri America iburayi ndetse nibihugu byinshi bitandukanye mukomeze mugire ubuzima buzima mu kiganiro cyo kuri uyu munsi rero tugiye kurebera hamwe indwara ya angine indwara ya angine doctor ari ari butangire ababwira mu rurimi rw'icyongereza ariko nyuma turaza kubagezaho mu ncamake kubatumva ururimi rw'icyongereza mubashe gusobanukirwa deka duha umwanya doctor abagezeho byinshi ku buryo bwimbitse ku bujyanye n'uburwayi bwa angine Good evening, the people of Rwanda. Uh, this is me, Dr. Uh, Maji Omar Hamada. Uh, I'm a specialist of internal medicine in uh, uh, Ferro's Medical Clinic. We started working in, uh, we are a group of uh, doctors coming from Egypt. Uh, we, our head office is in Egypt. And we started here in Rwanda since February 2020. We have a plan to for a bigger project, and that's what we are going to talk uh, about in this uh, show. Uh, first, the people of Rwanda, I want you to be careful of uh, that pandemic, that coronavirus all over the world. We have uh, the key of success to pass this critical time is to be careful, to, to have a social di distance, and to wash our hands, to care of our hygiene, and to wear masks if we are going out, and uh, also to avoid any contact, uh, any close contact with any other person. Uh, thank you so much. And here I'm going to wear the mask also. Mm. Today we are going to talk about uh, angina. Angina, uh, it's angina pectoris, the name is coming from a Latin, uh, from a Greek word. Uh, angina, it means, uh, it means uh, strangulation, and uh, pectoris it means a chest. So it, it means pain in the chest or feeling of strangulation in the chest. Ferris is uh, the most common cause of death worldwide is ischemic heart disease. Ischemic heart disease are a group of disease uh, 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 the definition of ischemic heart disease is when the blood supply to the heart is less than the demand of the heart, of the oxygen need of the heart. When the blood of supply of the heart is less than the, ox the oxygen need of the heart muscle, at this time, this, this, this is called ischemia. Uh, at the start, it happens. When it happens at the start, uh, uh, the, the causes of uh, ischemic heart disease, there are so many causes. Uh, first, some are irreversible causes which cannot be corrected, 
like aging when we get old uh, our arteries get some ischemia become narrow and uh, not uh, as perfect as before and uh, some are avoidable avoidable is is if we, we are doing exercise if we are moving if we are eating healthy food uh, if we are not smoking if we we don't drink too much all of this can help keep our body healthy and fit as long as we are alive uh, uh, symptoms of uh, of angina pectoris uh, there are so many sim the main the main complaint for uh, angina pectoris is chest pain if the person has chest pain uh, usually it is retrosternal it is in the middle of the chest usually sometimes it can be radiated to the neck or to the shoulders or to the arm or to the epigastrium the, the abdomen upper abdomen or to the back uh, and there is 10 percent of the cases who visit the hospital in the united states every year are the main complaint is chest pain of that cases of chest pain 10 percent are diagnosed as ischemic heart disease so chest pain is a, is a, a main complaint. Uh, this is a main complaint. It starts first with exercise. If you go upstairs, if you are walking, if you are eating too much and getting a heavy meal, sometimes uh, also exposure to cold can cause chest pain, uh, can uh, provoke the, the attack. And uh, if you get, uh, when you get, take a rest, or take some medicine uh, under the tongue like nitroglycerin uh, if the pain is relieved this is considered staple angina but sometimes the pain when the case becomes serious more serious the pain can come randomly without any reason without exercise without a heavy meal without exposure to cold during rest this is at this time this is called unstable angina and this is a very serious case we have to be careful about it. Uh, the consequences of uh, angina pectoris. Angina pectoris start as a narrowing of, of the arteries which supply the heart. Uh, there are uh, three main coronary arteries. The, ar the arteries which supply the heart are, are called the coronary arteries. There is anterior descending artery and there is the right coronary artery and there is circumflex artery. If there is mild narrowing of this uh, one of the coronary arteries, especially the anterior uh, the, uh, descending artery, if there is uh, mild narrowing, it can cause angina, pain on exercise only. But with time, if we didn't change our lifestyle, if we didn't take any medicine, if we ne neglect the case, with time the narrowing will become severe and severe and severe and at this time the patient can get the, the artery can can be occluded at all can be closed and when it become closed at this time it needs emergency emergent intervention so uh, i advise any patient anyone who, who feels chest pain to visit a doctor immediately to consult him he has to do ecg to make sure that there is no no ECG changes and he has to do some blood investigations also especially for the people who are at high risk the diabetic patient and the obese and the people who have uh, official life they don't they are not active they just stay in the office these people they have to be careful the smokers also and the men more prone more more prone to cardiovascular to ischemic heart disease more than women so all of these people have to be careful about any if he feel any chest pain he has to go directly to a doctor to consult his doctor uh, uh, we have to change our lifestyle if we go that we have to do exercise we have to walk every day for 30 minutes or one hour our uh, our food should be healthy eat more fruit more vegetables avoid oily food and uh, also if we smoke we have to quit smoking if we drink we should minimize to the, our drink to the minimum uh, amount we can uh, uh, and uh, also we consult the doctor if he advise us to take some medicine 
we have to be to continue taking that medicine. In case of uh, if there is a, if the case uh, stable and right now at this at this time we, we give medical treatment and the patient can maintain his life with medication. But if the case uh, changes to unstable andrina or uh, what's called acute myocardial infarction, it means that the artery is almost occluded, blocked, closed. So at this time we need medical, inter we need intervention. This is called uh, percutaneous coronary angiography, percutaneous coronary intervention or percutaneous uh, coronary angioplasty. Uh, we have that uh, the good news is that this machine is available now in Rwanda and within three or four months it will be working and uh, so many patients who used to travel to Tanzania or Kenya or India to do that uh, intervention, to do that procedure there, it will be available in Rwanda within three to four months, hopefully. And this will be a great added value to the Medical Society of Rwanda. And at the end, I like to thank uh, Obizima Buzima Show for giving me the chance to uh, talk to the people of Rwanda. Thank you so much, and uh, God bless you all. Muna shobora kwibaza ati mbese ndwaye indwara ya angine ni bihe bimenyetso nakiyumva umuntu afite iyo afite ikibazo cya angine guhumeka nabi gutera ku mutima umutima utera gake ndetse muri make ahumeka ameze muri gusiganwa ibyo ndetse nibindi ku buryo burambuye muri muri rusange ku buryo burambuye docteur yabivuze no, no, ushobora kwibaza ati mbese ni izihe ngaruka mfite ikibazo cyanje ne nshobora guhura nazo ushobora guhera umwuka ushobora ushobora gufungana inzira zihumeka nyine bikaba byatuma umuntu agira asufix Nawa kunze vichi ganiro uzima uzima uhuye ni chivazo cha anjine ina matuwa kujira no kuyo hutira kuja kwa muganga baka gufasha uvircho ugarusha ho kujira uzima uzima. Situwa soza chino chiganiro tuda shimie Dr. Ibrahim akabari muganga winzo vede munguwa razo munda zaba kuze akabakore rahano kubitaro akabakore rakuri Fallows Medical Clinic akaba ari ivuriro ishami ry'ibitaro bikorera muri Egypt rikorera hano mu gihugu cyacu cy'u Rwanda reka dushimire bakunda gusenga Joseph Patrick aruri ku buhanga bw'amajwi n'amashusho reka dushimire namwe mwese mwakomeje gukurikira kino kiganiro ubuzima buzima muri abagaciro kuri twebwe mwibuke gukora subscribe share ndetse na like na comment kuri YouTube channel yacu ubuzima buzima TV Murakoze cyane mukomeze mugire ubuzima buzima.